Hello and uh, welcome everyone. Uh, this is our first session for uh, strategy marketing. Uh, please let me know if anyone is there. Hello. Hello. Okay. So welcome to uh, today's lecture on the principle of strategic uh, marketing. Uh, uh, this is our first session, uh, which is understand the principle of strategic marketing. Uh, in this unit, we will discuss the core concept uh, and strategies the guide organization in their uh, marketing efforts at a strategic level. Uh, understanding uh, these principle is essential for developing effective marketing strategies that uh, are drive businesses success so let's get started uh what is meaning of corporate strategy uh anyone is can explain if anyone is there if anyone is there i hope you can see my screen and can hear my voice if any issues please let me know so here uh what is the meaning of corporate strategy? So corporate strategy is the direction on an organization take with the objectives of achieving business success in the long term. So recent approaches have focused on the need for companies to adopt to uh, and anticipate changes in the business environment, for example, flexible strategy. So here we will explore the essential concept of corporate strategy and marketing strategy. So these are fundamental aspect of any business and understanding them in crucial for achieving long term. So uh, let's begin with the uh, corporate strategy. Corporate strategy is the uh, overarching direction an organization uh, takes to achieve long term businesses success. Uh, it is about planning how the entire organizations with all the businesses, uh, operations work together to reach specific goals. Uh, corporate strategy, strategy is not uh, set in stone. Recent approaches emphasize uh, the need for flexibility to adopt to changes in the business environment. Uh, so now let's discuss some key elements. Uh, type of growth uh, strategies. There are four main type of growth strategies, horizontal integrations, uh, vertical integrations, diversification and market penetration. Uh, consider these example of corporate growth strategies and how they become implemented. So uh, first one is uh, horizontal uh, uh, strategies uh, integration. Uh, this involves acquiring or uh, merging with uh, competitions in the same industry to expand market shares. Uh, then uh, vertical uh, uh, integration. Uh, companies may uh, vertically uh, integrate by either moving into uh, suppliers' roles to taking on uh, roles previously handled by distributions. Uh, distributors. So next one is diversification. Uh, diversification entails expanding into new markets or industries to reduce risks. Then uh, last one is a market uh, uh, penetrations. Market penetrations. Uh, here the uh, focus is on increasing market share in existing markets. This can be achieved uh, through strategies like aggressive marketing or pricing. Uh, any questions so far? If anybody is there? Okay. So the overall scope and direction of a corporation and way in which it is various businesses operations work together to achieve particular goals corporate level strategy can uh, be subdivi subdivided into three types uh, based on what you want to do with your business's growth, stability, uh, retrenchment. 
so basically uh, scope and direction corporate strategy define the scope and direction of the organization it sets set the path for how different parts of the business work together to achieve specific uh, uh, objectives uh, types of corporate level strategy uh, corporate level strategies can be categorized into three types growth uh, stability and uh, retrenchment. So uh, growth, uh, uh, anybody can uh, explain growth if anyone is there? Okay. Uh, focusing on expanding the business and increasing revenue. Uh, then we he is talking about uh, stability uh, means maintaining the current business operations without significant changes. And then uh, retrenchment, uh, Strategies aimed uh, uh, re, uh, at reducing costs and uh, you know con uh, con uh, conserving uh, resources during challenging times. Any questions so far? If anyone is there, okay. What is uh, in a marketing strategy? Any uh, any comments? If anyone is there. Okay, marketing strategy, uh, you know, let's focus on marketing strategy. Marketing strategy is an uh, integral part of an organization's overall plan for acquiring and uh, retaining customers. It's about achieving specific goals through marketing efforts. So the key components are uh, four, you know, he's talking about P's here the four p's uh marketing strategy revolves around the four p's so first one is uh you know uh product goods and services offered by companies uh to its customer then price the amount of uh, money paid by customers to purchase like the product so that uh four uh p's the first one is uh project uh, product then price then place then promotions so product refers to the goods or services offered by the company to its customer, then price uh, the amount customers pay to purchase the product, then place the distributions channel used to make the uh, product available to customers. And then finally, uh, promotion strategies for advertising and promoting the product to the uh, target audience. Right. So uh, there is a, a marketing strategy gives an uh, organizations a competitive edge. It helps in developing products and services with the highest profit potential. Additionally, it uh, optimizes resource utilization and ensures a, a compelling sales message reaches the target markets. Then alignment with goals, uh, a critical purpose of the marketing plan is to align the company's marketing efforts with the uh, broader business objectives, whether it is new company looking to expand or an, uh, uh, or an established business aiming to grow its customer base, marketing strategies play, uh, you know, uh, important role. So analyze the relationship between corporate strategies and marketing strategy. Any comments if anyone is there again? Okay, so here uh, we will analyze the uh, uh, entry Kate relationship between corporate strategy and marketing strategy. Uh, both are in uh, both are very you know important or very you know essential components of a business success and understanding how they uh, intersect in uh, is uh, crucial. So marketing strategy, strategy uh, according to uh, Rio. So uh, is the, according to Rio is the mean by which a marketing goal is achieved. It is categorized by a specific target market and it uh, is reached through a marketing program. In a sense, marketing strategy, uh, provide direction to marketing activities. So there is often a, a debate about whether marketing plays a strategy role or in uh, treated as a major functions. 
So then according to uh, Saul's is an interview with uh, Narmila Kumar found that marketing is treated as a function uh, because of the pressure from uh, stakeholder shareholders and analyze analysts to generate short term profit and uh, secondly marketers are uh, using tactics and acting uh, as passive specialists uh so Sal's noted noted is in an uh, interview with Narmila Kumar that marketing is sometimes uh, perceived as a function due to pressure from shareholders and analysts for short-term profit generation. Uh, marketers may also be focused on uh, tactics and uh, acting as specialists. So for uh, strategies role that marketing can play in order to improve its value can be played by introducing new channels of distribution, selling solutions instead of our products and consistent in the uh, uh, radical innovation. Uh, in nutshell, CEO must be excited and bottom line is getting involved during the execution of marketing strategy. So for marketing to play a strategic role, it must uh, engage uh, top management enhance uh, customers' loyalty and addresses the pressure to reduce prices. Marketing can enhance its value by introducing new distributions, channels, shifting from selling uh, products to providing solutions and assisting uh, in radical innovations. So the CEO must be uh, enthusiastic uh, about the uh, marketing strategies and bottom line consideration must be are taken into account uh, during the execution. Any question if anyone is there? Okay, so the marketing uh, concepts, uh, how an organization operate in uh, the uh, market here, um, however guides the way an organization operate in market, uh, the product is in marketing consists of tangible and intangible attributes in terms of quality packaging after a sale support uh, durability. Uh, when the, uh, the marketing concepts guide how an organization operate in the market, it uh, encompasses not only tangible product attributes, but also intangible aspects like quality packaging uh, after sale support and durability. So while the uh, product concept may focus on uh, improving the product itself, marketers needs to ensure that the product fulfills uh, customer needs in the target segment. This customer's oriented approach is gaining importance, particularly in fast moving customer goods industries. Uh, then uh, concept of product may be still applicable to some of companies, for example, manufacturers of corporate uh, uh, aeroplanes, but the concept of customer is gaining importance in the case of fast moving customer goods and consumer goods, for example, beverage industries, smartphone industries, etc. Uh, companies with an product concept orientations tend to allocate a fixed percentage of the uh, budget to the marketing department. Many small and medium-sized enterprises may treat marketing as a, a you know, cost rather than an investment due to lack of knowledge about its importance. Uh, another thing uh, you have to keep in your mind, the success of a marketing strategy hangs on more than just uh, product innovation. It requires understanding uh, customer needs and establishing effective communication with customers implementation, a well thought out marketing uh, program is uh, vital. Any questions or anything else? Uh, Kotler, a uh, very famous writer. Uh, if you are a marketing student, I hope everyone knows about Kotler. Emphasized that marketing uh, differ, differs from selling and aims at achieving uh, long-term benefits, including intangible ones like brand image. Brand can help in customers' uh, retention and resist price reduction uh, pressure. 
companies known for their communication like the uh, Coca-Cola company may still face revenue growth pressure due to an excessive focus on the product. Uh, marketing uh, strategy is developed to serve the uh, businesses and the uh, businesses uh, is run by an organization. The hierarchy of strategy consists of corporate strategy, business strategy, and uh, functional strategy. So here, uh, just explaining again, corporate strategy, vision, corporate goals, philosophy, and culture, then business unit strategy, mission, business goals, and competi competencies, functional strategies, information system, research and development, manufacturing, so finance, marketing, and human resource. So corporate strategy uh, set a vision, for example. So here we will explain how corporate strategy set the vision and goals for an organization and how this impact making strategy. So here is uh, using IKEA example. Uh, you know that one of the famous company. Uh, we will use IKEA as an uh, illustrative example. Corporate strategy set a vision for the organizations uh, for example, IKEA's vision is create a better everyday life for the many people. The company goal is to provide affordable furniture and home furnishing. So IKEA philosophy is to afford competitive price to majority of people. Uh, this is translated into a business strategy that includes uh, bulk suppliers, economic of uh, scale, company-owned outlets and global expansions through joint ventures and franchise agreements. Uh, marketing plays, uh, you know, uh, essential role in, in achieving these businesses' goals. So it must uh, ascertain critical market uh, factors such as target segments, uh, market size, uh, customer behaviors, and the appropriate marketing mix. So uh as figure above you know uh, the relationship appears on on directional with corporate strategy influence business strategies with is uh with uh, which is uh turn influence marketing uh, strategy uh, if you can see here okay so it is uh, essential to organize uh, Right. So it is very essential to uh, organize that corporate strategy is often the independent variable influencing business strategy and subsequently marketing strategy a on uh, in uh, on I uh, directional uh, 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 unidirectional relationships. However, this uh, doesn't capture the full complexity of the uh, interaction. So any questions so far? So corporate business uh, and function new hierarchy uh, structure. Uh, corporate strategy is uh, independent variable and influence business strategy and intermediate variable on which uh, marketing strategy as a dependent variable getting influenced. Hence, it is on uh, unidirectional uh, relationships, but author argued marketing strategy, business study and corporate study relationship may be uh, represented as. Huh. So uh, previously, you know, discuss the uh, traditional model often uh, present corporate uh, a strategy as an independent variable that influence business strategy, which is in turn shape marketing strategy. So this model implies a unidirectional flow. So uh, here, you know that uh, 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 
a business strategy and marketing strategy focus on the dynamic between uh, you know these dynamics between these elements so uh, next uh, you know the uh, model implies a unidirectional flows to gain a deeper understanding we can expand uh, this model to represent a more comprehensive relationships among these strategies uh, rather than a one way influence it is vital to recognize the employee and synergy among them uh, <clears throat> marketing should not be uh, confined to a uh, functional role but should actively uh, participate in the uh, formulation of corporate strategy uh, this shift uh, emphasizes the uh, importance of marketing in achieving corporate objectives uh, consider a uh, you know bi-directional approval uh, sorry approach where corporate strategy uh, business strategy and marketing strategy influence each other uh, this model acknowledges that strategy development is a dynamic process uh, whether each elements impact for the others so uh, matson uh, according to matson but matson uh, proposed bottom up strategy can be uh, deployed and is more effective than uh, top down approaches hence they have not challenged change the hierarchy uh, but the uh, flow and involvement of marketing from uh, the beginning of corporate strategy formulations. Uh, Matson, uh, you know, advocate a bottom-up strategy, which involves marketing from the beginning of corporate strategy formulation. This approach does not discard the hierarchy, but reshapes the flow and engagement of marketing in strategy uh, development. Any questions so far or any comments if anyone is there? Okay. So uh, analyze the development of marketing strategy. Uh, here we will uh, explore various views and factors that play a crucial role in the development of marketing strategies. Uh, when approach to developing marketing strategies is the resource-based view. This view emphasizes uh, uh, leveraging unique capabilities and resources. For instance, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, Britannica. Uh, was a leader in a uh, in encyclopedia uh, so uh, leadership is in encyclopedia was based on its unique knowledge and content uh, the stakeholder uh, view consider factors like power influence and culture in strategy development so however internal power dynamics can be challenged as seen in the uh, uh, in fighting within HP's uh, uh, boardrooms, strategic fit uh, focuses on aligning uh, capabilities with environmental opportunities. Uh, this view recognizes the interrelations between capability and opportunity. Uh, these views are uh, interconnected as uh, capability is essential for sizing uh, opportunities without the capability organizations uh, cannot fully utilize, uh, you know, uh, opportunities. Any question if anyone is there or any comments? Or uh, can you guys see my screen? If not, please let me know if uh, anyone is there. So marketing strategy is important for the organization, especially as suggested by uh, Johnson's uh, 2011 globalization has thrown additional challenges and opportunities. Uh, here we will discuss factors that influence marketing strategy development considering the impact of uh, globalization, technology, communication, and price transparency. Uh, globalization presents both challenges and uh, opportunities Japanese companies, for uh, example, developed capabilities due to uh, demanding uh, customers at home and leveraged uh, them globally. Uh, the ad 
advent of technology, particularly information and communication, uh, technology has transformed industries and marketing practices. Uh, E-commerce and e-marketing have become integral two-way communications via social media has impacted brand development strategies maintaining brand reputation is essential uh, uh portals like amazon portals like uh, you know uh, some portals like uh, amazon uh, has uh, promoted uh, price transparency price strategy must adopt it to uh, the case of product uh, comparison facilitate uh, facilitated by the uh, internet uh Right. So marketing strategies must be dynamic and responsive to the uh, evolving business environment uh, driven by uh, globalization, technological and advancement, communication shifts and price transparency. Any comments, any question if anyone is there? Okay. So next is, hence marketing mixed strategies can't be developed without considering the business environment. Uh, foster changes in the technology and innovation are becoming important factors. Hence, uh, marketing strategy required to be dynamic in nature. For example, luxury brands are present online after showing uh, real equitants real, real to face uh, devalued brand marketers not able to respond to the challenging customers need have faced closer to uh, lost market share to competitor for example uh, britannica lost it to wikipedia and other competitors nokia lost the position to apple samsung and others so uh, marketing mixed strategy cannot be formulated in isolation they must consider the uh, broader business environment environment is subject to rapid technological and uh, advancement and challenging consumer preference so technology and innovation have uh, become uh, vital factors in shaping marketing strategy even luxury brand uh, with were initially uh, you know hesitant to embrace digital platform are now establishing strong online presence. Uh, this shift illustrates the importance of adopting technological changes. So companies that uh, uh, fail to respond effectively to changing customer needs, risk facing serve uh, consequences. Example include, you know, it says uh, encyclopedia losing its uh, dominance in the uh, encyclopedia market to competitor like Wikipedia and Nokia losing its market share to rivals such as Apple or, or you know, Samsung. Explain how different marketing strategies can contribute to competitive advantages. So there are different marketing strategy which can be used to achieve competitive uh, advantages. So STP as suggested by Kotler involves uh, segmenting the market, selecting target, segmenting and uh, uh, positioning products accordingly. These strategies allows companies to uh, uh, cater to diverse customer needs. A global customer often uh, exhibit similar characteristics enabling a single marketing strategies uh, however the suitable of uh, differentiated to undifferentiated strategies depend on their product and market uh, relationship marketing focuses on continue uh, interactions with customers foster loyalty uh, loyal customers can provide uh, competitive and advantage through referrals in the era of social media. Uh, various marketing strategies including STP global strategies and relationship marketing can contribute to a competitive advantage. 
the choice of strategy depends on the product market and customers needs so again he's talking about sellers interview uh, uh, with the nirmala kumar said global consumers are displayed similar characteristic and hence a single marketing strategy can be deployed so uh, Sala noted in an interview with Nirmala that global consumers are exhibiting similar characteristics. So this observation has led to the idea that a single marketing strategy can be applied globally. Uh, undifferentiated strategies uh, such as uh, 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 those used by fast food uh, chains, McDonald's, target mass market, this approach is suitable for uh, products that have uh, broad appeal and can be consumed by a wide range of Apple. A luxury brand like uh, Armani, Gucci, uh, on the other hand, focus on the uh, uh, niche market, uh, typically uh, cat, uh, you know, entering to the elite class, or uh, targeting to the, uh, you know, elite class. Uh, marketing strategies must consider the product is target uh, market and its uh, geographical reach. This highlights the uh, importance of uh, segmentation, targeting, and uh, positioning analysis, uh, which is STP strategy. Okay. So this may simply STP analysis can be effective tool to develop marketing strategy. So STP analyze become a crucial tool for uh, developing effective marketing strategy. Uh, STP means, uh, uh, you know, that segmenting, uh, 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 segmentations, targeting and uh, positioning. Uh, so uh, it helps companies identify their target segments understand consumer behavior and position their uh, you know products or services appropriately our relationship strategies uh, now we will uh, talk about the concept of relationship marketing in uh, and its significance in today's business uh, landscape so our uh, trans uh, transactional marketing uh, focus on one off transactional between the company and the customers often uh, through mass marketing efforts in contrast relationship marketing places emphasize on uh, continuous interactions with customers so again uh, kotler in 2002 argued that relationship marketing has gained importance uh, due to the economic benefits uh, it's, it offers. Uh, building strong customer relationships and uh, fostering loyalty can be more cost effective than uh, constantly uh, acquiring new customers. Uh, while customer uh, acquisitions remains important, especially for companies with single and durable uh, product loyalty achieved through uh, relationship strategies provides a significant competitive advantage. Loyal customers, especially in the era of online and social media marketing, can become advocates who refer uh, products to potential customers. Any question, any comments, anyone is there? Okay. So product innovation and developments. Uh, here now uh, we delves into the significance of product innovation, branding and policies uh, in achieving competitive advantage. Uh, companies that fails to innovate may lose market share while those providing innovative uh, solutions gain a competitive edge competitive edge uh, 
Apple's intro, uh, introduction of the uh, iPhone is a prime example. So branding policies, according to uh, Drucker and uh, Masarelilo, 2013, the new strategies branding uh, policies consist, consist of efficiency, productivity, creativity, effectiveness, and uh, motivations, which can enhance the organizational performance and a reduction in the uh, pressure from competitions. A strategic, uh, strategic uh, branding policies emphasizing uh, efficiency, productivity, creativity, uh, effectiveness, and motivations can enhance uh, uh, performance and reduce competitive pressure, exploration, and exploitation strategies can also be used. Service marketing, pricing, and distribution. So company able to provide after sales support and market the uh, service in an effective uh, manner might have an edge against competitors. Uh, competitive prices uh, has been used by IKEA uh, successfully to an extent companies. Those are using both distributions Channels, for example, online and physical, able to uh, connect with online customers and uh, customers who are not active or are uh, least active online. So uh, basically, uh, here effective, uh, you know, after sales support, uh, service marketing, pricing strategies. Uh, and uh, distribution methods can contribute to competitive uh, advantage. Effective after sales support and services marketing can provide an edge over competitors. Uh, competitive pricing and employed by IKEA can attract uh, customers. Companies utilizing both online and physical distributions channels can uh, connect with the broader customers base. A uh, competitive advantage can be gained through uh, superior service marketing, uh, pricing strategies, and effective distributions method. Uh, then uh, now he's talking about evaluate the uh, relationship between strategic intent, strategic assessment, strategic choice, and their impact of, on their formulation of marketing strategy. Uh, strategy, strategic intent involves having a clear vision of whether an organization aim to lead and the uh, result it expect to achieve. It differs from uh, traditional strategic planning. Strategic intent can shape marketing strategies uh, by providing a clear direction and long-term vision for the uh, organization. Strategies intent plays a vital role uh, in alignment marketing uh, strategies with the uh, broader goals and vision of the organizations. Uh, conventional strategic planning concepts. Uh, conventional uh, strategic planning entails. So here we will discuss conventional strategic planning concepts and their differences from strategic entail thinking. Uh, conventional strategic planning involves as a structured uh, process of uh, formulations, implementations, and control. It focuses on uh, achieving long-term businesses objectives uh, through a broader stakeholder involvement. Strategies intent, intent thinking a more dynamic approach uh, that emphasizes having a clear vision and mission to guide the uh, organization towards a, a desirable future. Uh, strategic intent thinking uh, differs from conventional strategies uh, planning by placing greater emphasis on vision, mission, and flexibility uh, in responding to dynamic challenges. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, there are some uh, references down here, uh, chapter one. If you want to visit, you can visit. Uh, uh, there are a few sites.
Anyway, thank you very much uh, uh, for joining uh, this lecture on the principle of strategic uh, marketing. Uh, if you have any question or need any further clarification, please uh, feel free to ask and uh, drop me an email at uh, yasir at ukversity.co.uk. Uh, that's it for today. And thank you very much. And I'll see you tomorrow at uh, uh, three o'clock. And bye for now.